school how have you been this is like the longest month of all time it's the end of september right now but i can't believe it's still september <laughs> it's been kind of hard to make like teaching content right now just because i don't feel like a very good teacher to be honest it seems like whatever i try just still doesn't work like behavior wise and just like planning wise and timing wise and everything i mean things are going okay but i don't know they are getting better but actually that's the opposite of the video i wanted to make i i wanted to challenge myself to do a video just talking about the things that are going well i think i need this i need a bit of like a mind mind set shift at the moment i just you know i don't feel like a good teacher i don't feel like a good coworker. i don't feel like a good mom i don't feel like a good wife i don't feel like a good friend like i just feel like kind of failing at everything and so just maybe for my own mental state and maybe as like a reminder to you guys um, I just wanted to force myself to think about some things that are going well and share those with you guys. I did get this really cute little mug. I just ordered this for myself. <laughs> this is the cover of my first book that came out over the summer. Oh, and I have another book coming out in just a couple of weeks. Ooh, I feel like I'm a little bit behind on the stuff that I'm supposed to be doing for that as well. There's just being pulled in a lot of different directions. So I think today is a good day to focus on Things that are going well. Oh, also I'm wearing my cute new t-shirt from Tip in the Middle. This one says, all the cool kids are reading. And somehow it still fit over my bump. I'm not really, really sure how, but <laughs> this is where I'm at right now. I'm about halfway, 20 weeks. We did the 20 week scan the other day. That was fine. You're supposed to well, I don't know, the doctor that I had was trying to get like a cute picture of the face and everything, but the baby was like, no pictures please, no paparazzi. And we couldn't get a good picture and I needed to go pick up Jensen and I had just like fought traffic right after school to go get to the appointment and then had to like fight traffic back the other way to go pick up Jensen on time. So I was like, it's fine. <laughs> like as long as the baby's healthy, that's all that matters. So it's okay. So I didn't get like a cute little picture, but whatever. Most moms throughout history, never got to see inside their belly it's really weird that we can even do that pretty cool though it's very reassuring also to like see that everything's going well anyways the first thing that i wanted to talk about is <laughs> our media literacy unit with my seventh grade english students and at the beginning of the summer you can see on my youtube channel i started like researching different online resources for teaching uh media literacy and kind of like digital citizenship and stuff like that. So one of the activities that we did, we've done a lot, I'll, I'll go over it a little bit more <laughs> with you in a minute, but one thing that we did is we're just, I'm trying to use like real world examples and just look at like sources that are trustworthy and even like in our own communication, like how can we come across as more trustworthy? So I was like, here, you guys can look at my email so with my too cool for middle school email i get lots and lots of emails every day and it's a bummer because there are so many that are just like i don't know they're just kind of scammy they don't seem legit at all and so probably in my attempts to like get rid of those i probably get rid of more like legit emails than I should as well. So sorry about that if you've ever <laughs> emailed me and I <laughs> didn't respond because I thought it wasn't a legit email, I don't know. Uh, so I had my students like look at a few emails that were, you know, like a proposition type of a thing. Like here's our company and you know, we want you to do this for us. Sometimes people email me and there's no, like without a picture or a logo or something in the little profile, that already lowers my trust. If there's no link to whatever they were talking about, I pretty much delete it immediately. If there's not a little bit of information at the bottom, you know, under the person's name, like the address of the company or the website for the company or something like that, then all of those things are like clues to me that this either isn't a legit, like offer, sometimes you get those, or that they're just gonna be 
really difficult to work with because they don't pay attention to details. So I was kind of trying to show my students like through, through my eyes, if I'm like going quickly through emails, what do people need to do in their emails to like get your attention and like look legit and all that. So I got a, an email from this company. Let me, let me grab the bag or the box. I mean, so I got an email from Tokyo treat and I was like, yeah, I don't know about this. At first, then my students were like, wait, 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 that looks really good. And they had me like click on the website link and they were like, look, they have like a Twitter account and they have all these, you know, like they have a social media presence. Like, no, 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 this is legit. Like you got to take them up on this offer. So I was like, okay, okay. All right. So I, I emailed them back and agreed to do a video showing my subscribers what is inside the Tokyo treat box. So also part of our curriculum with, uh, we're using the Checkology website, has been looking at like branded content and you know, sponsored content. And so in preparation for this video, we looked at like, okay, what are the rules and what, you know, like counts as, as sponsored content and when are people like being misleading and stuff. So we are not being paid to show you what's in the box but we got this for free and my students are gonna be the ones that try everything out. And I do have an affiliate link where I can make a nominal amount of money if other people end up buying a Tokyo treat box for yourself. So those are all of the disclosures. I might have my students do a few <laughs> disclosures as well. They're like practicing being influencers. So a couple of them from one of my classes, they were like, we want to be the ones to make the video. We're going to do it, like order it and, and we'll do it. We'll take care of it. So I got permission slips from parents and like told them exactly what this is. Like this is not related to school actually. This is going to be on my YouTube channel. Like if you will allow your student to be in this video, it's going to be posted on the internet, but it's just like, trying out snacks from this Tokyo treat box. So after school today, they're gonna eat everything in here. So I don't even know if I'm gonna get to eat anything. <laughs> we'll see if there's any leftover for me. I'll give you a little sneak peek. I haven't shown the students yet, but it looks like it's kind of like a Halloween themed box. Oh, we have a snack menu. Oh my gosh, if these are all the things in there, maybe there's more in there than I thought. Oh, there's like a ton. Oh, you guys, this is very full. I thought there was only gonna be like a few things. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get something. We've got like chips and cookies and I don't really know what everything is, but <laughs> this is a drink, hockey sticks. Oh yeah, okay. Lots and lots of little things. I'm gonna try to keep it all together and let the students do the unboxing for you. Oh yeah, but there's a lot of, a lot of things in here. So, you know, this is something that's going well. I thought it was cute that they like, they like kept asking me about this. <laughs> they did not forget about it. They wanted to make this video. So it's fun to just like kind of do something that's just for fun and not even really school related. So after school today, we're gonna do this. It kind of relates to our media literacy content, which is also going really well. So let's go ahead and show you what is in the Tokyo treat box. Okay, we have our Tokyo treat box. We are outside and vaccinated, so we're gonna take our masks off really quick and try some of these delicious treats. So let's see what we got. I in the middle. I, <laughs> I planned on being the last. Now she's in the middle. Oh, oh wait, yeah. technically she's in the middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so why don't you guys open the box and then we'll get your true reaction. Oh, you know we're so but we can't open a box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, who's gonna try something first? Me. It's a beautiful young man. Lovely. A beautiful young man. Beautiful okay, young man. so now try it and tell us how it tastes. I claim the sun first. Right. Rip it. No! No! Finish it! I took that! I took that! Yeah, claim something while they're gone. Oh my god, how do you open okay. it? Okay, I'm a seventh grader. Claim something. Come on, can you? Oh my god, wait, can you try some? So, this is how it looks breadcrumbs. Don't have to do that. Breadcrumbs. Okay, taste it for us, tell us how it is. Oh, it's like crackers. That's good. Oh, nice, nice. Anyone else have something open yet? Foggy stitch. 
Uh, what flavor are awesome. these? It's oh, this. Oh my what god. What flavor are they? Grape flavor soda. Is it like strawberry? Yeah, strawberry. Ooh, oh, nice. That, that doesn't taste like strawberry, but it's good. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, grape soda. <laughs> it betrayed me. No I got Can karma. Can I just try some? Like, I got karma. <laughs> how, how, how do you want to try it? Oh, oh, <laughs> try it? How do we do this? Okay. Oh, it's actually good. Right? Mm. Whoa, she's doing nuts. <laughs> <laughs> how is it? How is it? Fizzy. <laughs> Ooh, come on, what did you try? Um, this one. Ooh, Ooh let's see. Wait, you didn't, did you that was a bugle. You got the biggest one. That was like bugles. Oh, they do look like bugles. All right, is this what you're trying? Yeah. Okay, like wanna hold it up? What do you got? Uh, wanna try it? Tell sure. us how it tastes. Come on, how did yours taste? What do you think? Oh, oh shoot, I'm thinking. Eat your medicine, children. I got this mm -hmm. gut. There is a tree in here that looks like medicine. Oh, weird. <laughs> Can I this like cheese. How's this one? Wait, that's so good. Yeah. Okay. Like barbecue. Barbecue. Wait, what that's not what, what I'm here good? for. <laughs> oh, I want this. I want this. Oh my. I think <laughs> <you forgot. laughs> Can I try this? Yeah. yeah. I'll try this one. It's what really flavor like Kit Kat is it? Oh, apple cinnamon? Wait, what kind of Ooh, can I have one of those too? <laughs> Wait, what is this? Mm. This is very chaotic. <laughs> I did not expect that. Ooh, that? I, uh, oh, like I hope it's chocolate. Okay. Okay. Whoever Wait, is listening to this, <laughs> this is like a Cheeto. Oh, like a, a giant, giant Cheeto? Yeah, oh, so good. <laughs> I got this. Ooh, those oh, look like they're going to be spicy. Oh, I got it. Oh, it opened the Okay, I want to share these with you because those look good. I took these. them for the team. I grabbed the really small one, obviously. All right. No, this is oh, it's the red kind. Yes, it is. <gasps> Ooh, one for me. <laughs> Two one. for me. <laughs> Apple cinnamon Kit Kats. I'm gonna call my mom. Cinnamon. I really like this. It's chocolate. Ooh, that does look Maybe good. It's like, so cheesy. Yeah. Anything else we haven't tried? We have yeah, a yeah. lot here. We have yeah. Who's, gonna, yeah. who's yeah. gonna be the brave oh one and take this one? <laughs> is it good? Oh, this looks interesting. It's like, it tastes like a candle. We both can have it. Wait. A candle? <laughs> For this, I mean, we need like experiment. It's like it's no, this is oh, there's Whoa. extractions. No, no, oh, Gosh, this is like literal. Don't don't be fooled. This is not medicine, okay? <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Here's I'll, our science experiment. Let's see, here's yeah. our Kit Kat. You told one of them. You snitch. I should have told Miss Recta. She's like, oh, well. Uh, can I what do are the these? He supports me yes. very oh, much. Oh, it's like licorice, I think. Oh my do you want to catch it mixing? Okay, get this one. Oh, yeah. Off. No, no, do you want any? Oh my god, so we have sticky. the primary colors. It's so sticky. Hey. Wait, Wait, oh. Are you supposed to have that, though? Is that edible? Oh. <laughs> Wait, are you supposed that to have that with the like, milk? No. This oh tastes my. like milk. Milk? Really? Oh, come on, milk? give me some milk. Can I have some milk? 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 Give me some milk. Give, give me the milk. milk. If you don't see me tomorrow, you'll know I'm <laughs> Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> huh? Oh, it's nice. That's very sweet. Thank Miss Ford. I actually think us because we're the ones that helped her. Very <laughs> true. Very true. We wouldn't have all this without you guys. I'm amazing. <laughs> you guys have to try this. It's this Halloween is now, apparently. I know all the Halloween treats. This is great. Oh yeah, I just noticed Halloween theme. If you would like to have your own box of Tokyo treats, please use the link below. Woo! If you want uh, your own. Uh, Tokyo <laughs> treats, then use the link below and get one, uh, one of them for you. <laughs> if you want your own Tokyo treats, use the link below because we obviously love them very much. <laughs>
virtual teaching so I'm still kind of like getting my pacing down and everything and yeah today we did like a guided meditation through vocabulary and that was was good it helped me to to relax a little bit I was like honestly I am a terrible person to walk you through a guided meditation because I am never relaxed <laughs> I am constantly stressed and I don't meditate <laughs> but I did it like four or five times already today with all my classes and it did it did help it was nice a bunch of our stuff is over here because it's not out on the tables right now yay trash fun so right now my Sixth graders are broken up into different empires, so this is kind of fun, and these, you know, I'll show which empire they are. They're gonna be doing some skits pretty soon with these. I just do supply boxes that have like pencils and crayons and everything in them. So if they ever ask me like, can I borrow a whatever? I'm like, I've given you everything. Everything I have is in these boxes. So take whatever you want from the boxes. These are a bunch of copies of my book. Oh, they're getting a little bit dusty. This is not where I'm gonna keep them actually, but we were reading them last week, so got all those. Um, tomorrow we're going to be taking a vocabulary, like written test type of a thing. So what I want them to focus on is choosing their answer, but also providing text evidence for why they chose that answer. So even if they get it wrong, as long as they can show you know, why they chose that answer, they get a point. I actually have a doctor's appointment tomorrow for something I can't even I'm starting to like lose track of what <laughs> each appointment is for but I'm gonna be out tomorrow so that's part of what they are doing got to take care of this little one in here so a um, couple other things that we're doing these are the notes that we've been taking these are from history from the middle and these are doodle notes so they have uh, you know little like visual clues about what we're writing about. They have maps and they're just fill in the blank. So my students are much lower than usual this year. So these have been pretty helpful. Right now they're actually working on skits. It's like a charades game for Hammurabi's Code. So they're choosing one law from Hammurabi's Code. They're gonna make a skit about it, but you know, they can't say which law it actually is. And then they put that on Flipgrid and then on Monday, we watch all the videos and we have to guess and see, you know, which law it is. So this was one of those activities that we did virtually last year and it went really well. And so now I'm kind of keeping that virtual aspect where they make it on Flipgrid because their face doesn't necessarily have to be in it. They could um, use stuffed animals or they could use some kind of an animation software or whatever. So we're kind of in the middle of that right now. And if they win, we, we like vote on which skit was the best per period and so then the prize is one of these stickers I made these last year these go with the vocabulary fertile crescent video I keep it quick like a turtle's breakfast none of us knows what that means <laughs> but that's like the the line that always gets stuck in our head so these are the prizes so I just have those out for motivation this is another very cool thing I have to remember there are a lot of cool things going on also from history from the middles lesson thing there. Um, it comes with like slides that have all the answers and then there's also like YouTube videos embedded within the slides. And there was a video about how these archeologists have found, you know, these little clay tablets, these cuneiform tablets, and they can put them in an MRI scanner and then come up with a file that they could send to anybody and that can be printed out on a 3D printer. So I found some files of cuneiform tablets. I don't know how <laughs> realistic they are, how like uh, authentic they are, but I got some and we have a 3D printer in our science lab. So the science teacher printed these for us. So these are, I think these are like maybe double sized or triple and then printed another one. <laughs> it looks like a giant block of butter, but it's really cool to have these little cuneiform tablets. And one of my students even has a 3D printer at home and he printed this little one for us. I think this is maybe more the actual size. I don't know. So I've got three of those now. I mean, that's pretty cool. Kind of dark <laughs> right here in the classroom. What else are we doing? Um, oh yeah, these posters I think are from Student Savvy, but just nice to have like a little 
sort of summary of what we are doing at the moment. And then my seventh grade English students, this is what we are doing, so you can like hardly see this, but this is from the Read to Lead curriculum. This is a game that we are going back to on Friday, actually. They wrote something over there. Mrs. Forbes is the best. Extra credit for everyone, please. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, yeah, so these are the little characters in that read to lead game. Still got lots of books. <laughs> um, we do like a monthly reading theme. And I'm just starting to put them over here. So this is September's Hispanic, Latine, Latinx uh, Heritage Month. And so then I just pull all of the books that I can think of that kind of go with that theme. And they can just choose to read those if they want to or not. These were also like 9-11 themed books. These I need to put away. That is somebody's water bottle. <laughs> These lovely posters are from The Dimpled Teacher. It is just a big old mess over here. This is my little coffee station. I have a bunch of things printing. Oh yay, I'm out of paper. We are printing bathroom sign out sheets because we've had a bunch of vandalism in the bathrooms as I'm sure you have as well. So that's very frustrating that after all this time away, we're like finally back together and they're just ruining a bunch of school property, which really doesn't affect me. They're not like ruining my bathroom, but they're ruining their own bathroom and then the custodians have to deal with it. It costs us money. It's just a mess. I have a bunch of stuff over here. Um, oh, this is a Cricut machine. I've really never used a Cricut, but they, they sent me one. I was supposed to do ugh, like a post and I never really did it, but um, I'm going to, I'm going to get good at it. I'm not good at it yet, but I'm, I will try to show you like all the things that we figure out how to make here. Also, look how cute these are. I made little stickers of my book covers. I can't get it to focus in, but this is my first book, and then this is my second book that's coming out soon. It's a little more square, I guess, <laughs> the cover. So these are fun. Um, October 12th is the day that my book comes out. So I'm gonna throw myself a little like book birthday party. <laughs> like I'm gonna order some cupcakes and just like, you know, bring them and have them in the teacher's lounge like it we have a little snack time break time thing for 10 minutes so I'll just you know throw myself a little party <laughs> because it's just so odd like to write a book and then have it come out it's always like there's there's always a, a pretty big delay between like when you were working on it and then like when it finally comes out so like it's a little hard to be excited about it again just because like so much time has passed and you're like oh yeah i kind of vaguely remember <laughs> writing this book and then like no one else, no one else in my real life really cares i mean they do like they're excited but i don't know it's not like i wrote like a story like a like a fictional novel that's gonna be like a bestseller and i could quit my job and just like be a reclusive novelist how lovely would that be but i'm I'm not a novelist. But then also, like, people ask me this kind of stuff, like, yeah, most people at my school definitely don't know about the first book, and for sure don't know anything about the second book, so, like, maybe let's celebrate it, I guess. <laughs> or let's have some cupcakes, and I'll tell you that I wrote a book. <laughs> this kind of stuff is awkward. Like, I don't know, it's awkward to celebrate yourself, but then it feels like I'll regret it if I just like let the day pass and I'm like, oh yeah, I had a I had a book come out today. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know. I don't know why I was talking about that, I guess because of the stickers. Um, yeah, so if we look around and we actually reflect, a lot of things are going well. Finding good resources and curriculum. Um, I'm just stressed about like meeting the needs of all my students. I have a lot of EL students. Today we were doing community circles and I don't know why I didn't do this like last week. Last week, they were very much on my nerves because they're like, we don't understand anything. So we're not gonna listen to anyone. 
or participate. So the three of us are just gonna sit here and talk the entire time and be a distraction. So today I just put all of like the questions that I asked into Google Translate. And we were talking mostly about like stress, like what do you do to relieve stress? What causes you stress? What stresses you out in the classroom? Those kinds of things. So I just had it projected up on the board and then translated into Mandarin. That's what a lot of our students who are um, English learners speak. And so yeah, that helped and then they were able to like prepare their answer because I mean all they have to do is stand up and say like homework or like I play Minecraft or whatever for their answer so they were able to come up with an answer and like participate better because last week I was just like I don't know what to do and they were just kind of like ignored and then weren't behaving obviously because that's how things go. Um, still having really, really immature behavior issues with a lot of the sixth graders, but it's really not everybody. I think that is the hard thing like with masks and having a harder time like getting to know each kid individually. And then a lot of things were just like group behavior, like, chanting. I had a couple of my classes just like chanting weird stuff or it'll, like another teacher was saying this too, where she was like, okay, this next one's gonna be a little harder. And then a kid's like, a little harder. And the next kid, a little harder, a little harder, a little harder, a little harder. Like, why would you do that? That just w wasted our time. And you can't really tell who's doing it because of the masks. And it's not like bad and terrible, but it's very annoying and it interrupts everything. So someone yesterday called it like nuisance behaviors. Like we're just having a lot of nuisance behaviors that are not things we normally have to deal with with sixth graders. It's just like really, really immature stuff, but it's it's getting better. And now I'm able to like figure out a little bit better like who it is, like who is starting this and who's the one yelling out these nuts like it's 2018 or something. Like you guys missed that train. I'm sorry you were in elementary school for that, but we are not doing it now. We're not bringing it back. We're not reviving it. So yeah, you know, now there's, uh, it's a little easier to do more like targeted emails home to the students who are being a disruption and try to kind of like handle things more on an individual basis rather than just be like overwhelmed by the hundreds of sixth graders <laughs> in general. So it's getting better. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that we talked about like de-stressing today a little bit because yeah, for me like Reading helps to lower my stress, but then usually the second I sit down, then Jensen needs something. But like music helps. I really like a lot of Ingrid Michaelson songs for de-stressing. I have Be Okay stuck in my head today. And Keep Breathing, both of those are really good. I'm so tired, so it's hard to do like yoga and the Peloton and stuff, even though it's definitely what I should be doing. I need to stay healthy for myself and for the baby and I know that's really important. It's just uh, very hard to like pull that energy out of nowhere. <laughs> like I just, I just don't have it, but I'm trying. So yeah, I've definitely been very like testy lately. I have very little patience. I mean, part of it is like pregnancy hormones, I think, but also just like this year is just so frustrating. And then I'm also just like not used to being around people so much because last year we were just home all the time. I think I'm not a very good listener <laughs> in like staff meetings and stuff. Things like get to me easily. Uh, so anyway, that I th that's why I'm just kind of like a little, you know, disappointed in myself too because I, I just know that I haven't been very patient with people or myself. So mm -hmm -hmm. thank you for going on this little like mini room tour with me and reminding me that there are a lot of things that are going well. I love our John Green videos, the navigating digital information playlist, and I have um, these Oop. notes that go with those, and I have those on my Teachers Pay Teachers. That has been excellent. Tomorrow they're wrapping those up. Today we wrapped up Checkology, so our first unit on like media literacy has been really good. So I'm gonna go let in my final class of the day. I feel like I'm in a better mood for them, so that's good. Uh, cross your fingers, this goes well. Okay, 